Mom. Hey. Where is Mom and Dad? They're not in their room. Oh, yes. Dad left for Abuja this morning. Meanwhile, Mom had to rush to the office to clear out some things. Oh, God. Today is Sunday, for goodness sake. Everybody's with their family. Duty called, and they answered. Duty called? Yes. I mean, these people go to work every day, and they come back late at night. We barely even see them. It's been four days now, and I've not seen Dad. The worst part is, we live under the same roof. That's not fair. Come on, Ada. You know how demanding their work can be? Demanding? That's what I always hear. Please, I'm hungry. What are we having for breakfast? Oh, you sure? Mom said she would order food from a food vendor. In fact, the dispatch rider will be here soon. Dispatch rider? Mm-hmm. Jesus, why does Mom order our food instead of cooking it for us? Question and answer. Simply because she's very busy at work. Very busy. Oh, she's too busy to even attend to her other job. <sighs> Which other job are we talking about here? I mean, the last time I checked, mom has only one job. You do not know that being a mother is a full-time job that can only be done by a mother. Okay, look at us. We have parents now, and guess what? They know nothing about us. They don't know the kind of friends we make. They don't know our grades in school. Mom barely cooks for us or care about our well-being. Wait, let me ask you a question. What if that food vendor puts poison inside our food? Hey, God forbid. It's How not about God forbid. How could you say such a thing? Look, Ada, mom and dad are trying their best to provide a comfortable life for us. Can't you see? We have the best toys, we go to the best school, we eat from one of the best food vendors in town. And we even have the latest gadgets. Obviously, we lack nothing. You said we lack nothing. Sister, we lack everything, oh. Light. We lack everything as far as family is concerned. Mention them. We lack uh, the care, attention, and love from our parents. You don't know that our grandparents never made them lack such things. Grandmom taught mom how to cook. But here we are, depending on the dispatch rider to bring our food to us. How will we learn how to cook and do all these little chores for ourselves? What kind of women are we going to turn into when we grow up? What kind of mothers are we going to turn into? Or you don't know that children need their parents to guide them through life. If our grandparents we are careless during mom and dad's upbringing, do you think they will turn out this successful? So why are they depriving us the, the love, care and attention they got from their parents? Ada, you complain so much. You complain a lot. Mom and dad are the definition of successful parents. Even people envy them. It's not that mom doesn't know how to cook or she doesn't know how to do some house chores, but she's trying her best with dad to make life easier for us. Okay. Imagine us living in the streets. Imagine us begging for food. Imagine us going to a public school. Imagine us not having the kind of life we have now. I mean, how would you feel? Being successful is not an easy thing. It's not a day job. Successful in the eyes of the society, but a failure in taking care of their own home. Oh, you think money can buy everything in the whole world? Money can buy everything. In fact, the most important things in life, money cannot buy them. Let me mention them for you. Money cannot buy the years mom and dad are missing in our lives. Yes, money cannot buy the memories they're supposed to be building with us right now. Money cannot buy the morals they're supposed to imbibe in us as parents. And let me tell you something. Once these things are lost, they can never be gotten again. I'm really tired of eating from another woman's pot. I'm tired of having absentee parents. At least they should make out time for their children. Haven't you heard the saying, time is money? Ada, the economy is very bad. You can barely survive without money. And our parents are just trying their best to provide that money for us in order to make us comfortable in this life. Well done. Then it's high time we kids start paying our parents money to give us the time since time is money. No doubt, money is good. But what happens when other things get sore? What happens?
Some children have lost their path. Many have lost their lives because of the carelessness of their own parents. Many have even gone through abuses. They are scared to open up to anyone. But it is said that mothers are supposed to communicate with their child's soul and understand what he or she is going through. How will you feel the pain or understand the silence of your child when you don't even have time for them? How? Your child's life might get ruined while living under the same roof with you. Make out time for your children. Being a parent is the, is the world's best job that has no salary attached to it. But let me tell you something. It pays off more than anything if given the right amount of, of love, care, attention and all these things. So briefly parents, what I'm trying to say here is for you all to strike a balance between your work and your home because it is very, very important.